Hi, y'all. Hi. <laughs> We're just getting set up here to uh, share this onto our personal page, but thanks for joining us if you're watching this in the future. You know, when you're first starting a show, you have to sort of be your own promotional team. So, you know, with Facebook Live, you got to share it so people know you're doing it. Yeah, this is true. And then you have to click and make sure you get it on the right, <laughs> on the right. <laughs> Not the wrong space, which I've been known to do. So, you know, so hold on one second. Bear with us while we market ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Cool. Okay, done and done. Okay, almost done. It's totally not letting me go right there. I, oh, I think I got the right spot, Crystal. Okay, yay! <laughs> and I'm renaming you to Marnie instead of Access Consciousness thanks, Streaming. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> so for those of you guys that don't know us, I'm Crystal Crawford. And I am Marnie Barenko. And we're Access Consciousness Certified Facilitators and um, just friends from a long time back. We went to yes. Bible school together way back in the day and then lost touch. And then Marnie got into Access Consciousness without me. And <laughs> How dare I? <laughs> I can't believe it. And then Martha I was a shitty friend for a few years. She like <laughs> the face of the earth and ignored people. She did. <laughs> I did. This is a true story. I, I know you did. I was a shitty friend, but she forgave me. <laughs> and here we are. And then so I found her on Facebook again, and and then she had Access Consciousness listed as her employer, and I'm like, what? So what is she good. doing now? How and how she dare she not tell me? I can't me. believe she didn't tell me. And so then I Googled Access Consciousness and now here I am. So here we both are. Cool. Like, and that seems like another lifetime ago. Oh my God, I don't know. Those two people. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. I don't know either. But today we wanted to talk about never give in, never give up, never quit. Yeah. From every direction. <laughs> Direction. Well, in just a little, you know, history, Crystal and I will do a quick little, hey, let's chat. What are we going to talk about? And we went all over the map with so many different things. But the thread that went through all of it was really that never give up, never give in, never quit, no matter what, no matter what's up. So do you want to like kick off with what that means to you in this 10 seconds? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I mean, where that's showing up for me just everywhere right now is in my personal space with what I'm choosing to be in that moment, you know, so th there's been so much of my life where, and I, I know there's a lot of people that deal with this, where I'll descend into doubt or descend into making myself wrong or descend into feeling pathetic or descend into, I can't do it, or, you know, fall yeah. into some hole that I have to try to figure out. And, and lately, I don't know, last three or four weeks, I've just been getting really assertive with myself that the moment you know that thought or that sensation comes into my head I'm like that's an interesting point of view what else would you like to choose like really being present with every single thing that's coming through my world so that to to, to be able to choose where I want to go because I've been really I just was raised to be at the effect of all my feelings all my thoughts and that's yeah. what my mom did that's what my family did yeah. we were taught to like work them through and therapy model and right so, so choosing beyond that and creating a different muscle in my world has been like a kind of a lot of work lately. <laughs> like, a, like a constant choice. Like a yeah. really, it is a choose and choose and choose. Kind Good of thing. morning, Tracy Rash. Thank you for being here. Sorry. I'm, I'm looking at the <laughs> <laughs> Multitasking. <laughs> yeah. So that's really where it's been showing up for me. And, and that has been combined with like being really present with what's my reality. Like what's my reality with this? What's my reality with this person? What's my reality with money? What's my reality with business? Like no matter what's showing up, instead of going to conclusion that it's terrible or wrong or that I'm terrible or wrong, yeah. like what's my reality with this has been the other place where I've just been really like, okay, let's yeah. just keep it. the constant choosing. Yeah. The choosing to be here, to be here. And I know like why we brought that up last week and I keep saying it, but it's really is just the demand. It's the energy of demand. And I've really been looking at the whole never give up, never give in, never quit. It, it is that energy of 
demanding something, not of anyone else, not of the universe, but literally of myself making the demand to be here, making the demand that even if it's a teeny, teeny little baby step, I will move forward, whatever that is, I will move forward. Even if everything is really like loud and screaming around me about everybody else's reality, like you said, or, you know, just whatever's going on of the demand of I will move forward. Even if it's a crawl day, you know, some days are run days, some days are walk days, some days are fucking crawl, but if it's a <laughs> crawl day, I'm not giving up and I'm moving forward. You know, I'm going to have it. One knee at a time, baby. One knee at a time. <laughs> I'm pulling myself forward with my fingernails. Right? <laughs> I love the drama. <laughs> I know. Yeah, and I was actually getting ready for this, like reflecting back to like, what is that energy of demand and where have, where, where have I had it? Because I know in my life, sometimes I'll say, oh, I, I would like to do that. I'd like to write a book. And then I never write the book because I'm not actually choosing it. I, it sounds good. And I think I should. And maybe one day I will. But the truth is I'm not choosing it or I would be doing it. And I'm not totally. doing it. So totally. telling myself the truth about it. But then also looking at where are the places where I go, you know, demand, I am choosing that I'm having it. And I know the difference in my world. And I know the difference of when it shows up of when it's like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I'm choosing that bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. (laughs) Actually, I'm choosing it. I'm having it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I I run into this all the time. In fact, there's a there's a a choice in my world right now that I know I haven't chosen because I know what happens when I choose things like I create them. It's that right now. Yeah. I choose them and I create them period. And yeah. so like every time I'm not creating something, that's what I look at. It's like, have I actually chosen it or is it just a good idea? And, yeah. Yeah. And you know, one of the things around this the whole thing of choice is that some of the, most of my, probably all of my life now, like I don't function from like having a problem or need or like all the things that I, that were really going on for me dynamically back in the beginning where yeah choice like your back's up against the wall and like you have to choose something like I don't create that for myself anymore yeah so now the the space from which I choose is really different so the choices are really like is this going to expand my life and there's no solidity to that there's no like I have to or none of the drama that I'm so like in love with (laughs) totally and that is different and I'm really noticing that I'm not yet willing to choose as many things from that space as I was from the space of more drama. And that's been interesting to just acknowledge. (laughs) Well, it is to, and to look at how we actually do create and how much of it is we're resisting against something. Totally. Or we've decided something is bad and awful. So I'm going to create something else, but it's all from I'm fighting against something. And so all of the energy of creation goes into the thing I'm fighting against rather than what would I like to actually create And, but what you just said though, it's like when we get honest with ourselves and go, oh, I'm creating through resistance. I'm deciding what I'm against. And then I'm creating based on what I'm against. That's not actually what I would like to do. Then there comes a space of what now? And, and that's where the never give up, never give in, never quit comes of, I might not even know what the next choice is, but I know I'm going in that direction. I know that that's my ask and that's the direction that I'm going in. And it is a different space. I know for me, there was this thing of like my identity or my value or worth was all on what I did. Perform, 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 get the gold stars, be the top of the class, do the best, climb the ladder, you know? And so it was this driven performance. And then I went, oh, I actually don't have to do that. Or it's like the whole, what's my purpose in life? I must find it. And then I must bust my ass to try to fulfill it. And always the (laughs) mission of did I find the right one? And am I actually doing enough? And when it actually occurred to me that none of that was real or true, and I went, oh, actually, what if the purpose of life was to have fun? And what if there was not some ladder to climb or something I had to achieve? There was literally like a, do I just sit on the couch and watch TV now? Like, what do I do? <laughs> what the fuck is the point of all this? What's the point? Yeah, because that was like the impetus and the fuel behind everything I was choosing. So totally. whenever we get to those places where our way of functioning in the world and we look at it and go, oh, that doesn't actually work. That's not actually what I desire. So we choose we're going to do something else. Sometimes there just is the space of, well, what now? Where from? Yeah. You? Yeah. I'm, that, that's showing up everywhere right everywhere. now. Everywhere. I'm like face to face with choice and maybe the maybe the topic of this conversation is actually choice (laughs) yeah 
Yeah. But like, yeah, but so there's so like, it, oh, I have so much to say in no words. It's like <laughs> that, that whole creating from resistance and reaction. I didn't realize how much I did that. And yeah. it showed up most recently with, with John and the guy that I'm, that I'm living with right now. And we have just been having a really rough few weeks, like on and on. And, you know, I've been having lots of reactions to his stuff and, you know, trying to pock and pod myself an interesting point of view myself through it. And, and he ended up uh, leaving and going to sort some of his stuff where he used to live on the island for three days. And I'm like, oh, I'm so glad he's gone. <laughs> he's out of the house. And I've already talked to him about this, so it's fine. But yeah. like, and then like right by day three, I started realizing how much him being here contributed to me. And I didn't, I didn't realize that until he was gone. So I'm like, you actually need to leave more often. So I have more great gratitude for you. <laughs> <laughs> I forget when you're here. I forget when you're here. But one of the things I noticed about that was that he gives me something to resist and react to. That was something I was like, there was this, because when he showed back up, I had all this energy in my body again, but I was like mad about this and this wasn't good. And I was like, wow. Like, okay, so that's a gift in one right. sense of it. And then the right. other sense, it's like, what else is beyond that? Because yeah. I've been doing that using resistance and reaction as, a, as an energy for creation since I was a kid yeah. with my parents. And I get that there's something greater beyond that. And I don't know if I know yet what it is. <laughs> and it might just be choice from possibilities, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, and the thing I get about that is it really is just choosing the next step, just choosing the next thing that's in front of you. Because yeah. there is this space of, when something that's so familiar, and I would say, especially the energies that we're so used to from the time we were little that we functioned in. And when we're choosing beyond it, we actually don't have the, like the radar to actually get the sense of what it's like. I so it really is, it's like we took the map and shredded it in a million pieces and threw it in the fire and went, yay, no more map. And then <laughs> we were like, oh, no more map. Get it out, get it out, put it back together. <laughs> It's like that. And that's how, that's how it shows up. There could be this like, ah, what do I wear now? And that's where the, just the demand of, I'm not going to give up. I don't even know what's next. I don't even know, you know, I use Dory the fish all the time because it's just keep swimming, just keep swimming. But it is literally that. What's the next, what's the next choice? And when we hit the paralyze of I can't make the next choice because I want to make the right choice and I don't want to make the wrong chase choice. So I just stay in limbo and, and paralyzed. It's like being willing to go. What if choice was just choice? Yeah. What if it wasn't good or bad, right or wrong? It was just choice. And what if we could make one and go, mm, yeah, nope, not again. And ah, okay, cool. That was awesome. And that would be it. I mean, giving ourselves the permission to choose and not get it right. Yep. And yeah. And the, I, where I'm getting the never give up, never given comes in for me is like not giving up on myself, even when I know that yeah. I'm being something less than what I can actually choose. Yeah. Like last night we all went to dinner and this, like our household went to dinner and we're all looking, we all live together and we sort of do the show together, but we're looking at creating together again. And, and one of my roommates and I, we, we keep butting heads on some stuff and there's this, whatever it is in each of our worlds that we each dealt with as a child keeps mm -hmm. coming up and it's coming up in different ways, but it happened again last night at dinner and I just got frustrated and I, pu I, I like pushed because <laughs> yeah. I was like, I want this to change. So I yeah. got to be in bulldozery. Yeah. And you know, I looked at that today and I'm like, well, that wasn't probably the best way, you know, like yeah. I could have chosen something else, but I'm like, you know what, this, this life thing is messy. And I, I've just really, I've had to really choose allowance for myself, you know, because yeah. there's so much, almost all of what I'm choosing right now that I don't know how to do. I like, I have a sense of the future I want to create. And I have a sense of, you know, what I want to create with people. And it's a zig it's a course correction thing right it's like time, yeah try this and see what that creates and oh look, that she her arm fell off like <laughs> what <laughs> sorry but she's still going she's dragging in behind her <laughs> she still wants to talk to me this morning so that's cool <laughs> yeah uh, but the amount of allowance that i've had to have for me is has been really a lot and really, it's really that thing of like, okay, cool. Well, let's choose something else next time. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I, I love that. And I love that you brought that up about the never give up because it is like the never giving up on you. Never yeah. You. It's like the knowing that you're going to keep choosing, you're going to keep moving forward and you're going to have your own back. Even if that's the only thing, you know, <laughs> you don't know anything else. <laughs> Just that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so how's this all showing up for you? How it's showing up for me is, gosh, that's like such a loaded <laughs> question. I go, where okay, well, the first thing that comes <laughs> <laughs> so, so one of the pieces of something that's, you know, been talked about a lot in access recently is the whole comfortable distance thing. Mm -hmm. And so we touched on this, I know a little bit last week too, but I'm so dynamically aware of how I've really created my life that way. There was just this, and I was, I was reflecting on this actually this morning and like looking at little kids and how when they come in, they don't do comfortable distance. They just, they just don't. There's no separation. They receive everything. There's just this open chaos of creation receiving no separation that they be. And then whatever people in their world who do the comfortable distance and all, you know, we've all got stories which are irrelevant, but we, we get to where we start to, many of us, most of us go, you know what, it's actually a little bit safer over here. It's this little bit more out of the way over here. So we start building, and I would say different with different people, how much distance is required and, and how exactly what, it's the map. We, we, nav, we know that map so well and how we need to navigate to make sure that distance stays there. And I've, so a demand for me as of like 2018 is be here. And what I mean by be here is actually no more comfortable distance. I'm, it's like Marnie, whatever it takes to remove the comfortable distance and to no longer do separation with anybody, that's a demand in my world. And I'm going to say scares the shit out of me. It's mm -hmm. like, but you don't understand. I put this distance there for very good reason. This I'll tell you all of them. Yeah. And I've got a, I've got a list and every one of them is so valid and true and you're asking me to like, let go of that, you know, that I really skillfully put in place. And so for me, it is like you said, it's the choosing and it's literally choosing every moment of whatever's in front of me and go barriers down, falls down. If I wasn't doing separation, if I wasn't going into self-preservation, how would I be? Uh. And who would I be? And how would we, how would communion be? And that is requiring a moment by moment choice, moment by moment. And noticing when, oh, there went the barriers. Oh, did you see how I just sidestepped that? Did you see how I just went with this person? Did you see how with that, you know, project, I just like removed myself being aware of it and then choosing allowance. Like you said, okay, cool. That was a choice I made, but I like to choose something else now. So it's that. I'm uncomfortable just listening to you. Right? <laughs> I know that's so gonna, my world. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that tool and use it because I, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what's going on for me too. But I, I don't think I've, I don't think I've, um, yeah, been as aggressive with that as I could choose to be. And like comfortable distance has been this. I'm so good at it. Me too. Um, and and I could tell you, like in in my family, that was survival. Like comfortable distance was as far as I knew, you know, like, and there was no uh, other way. There was no other way. Mm -hmm. And so you get out into the world and then all the things. And, and I was realizing last night with the situation with my roommate, like what I didn't know was that my reaction to them came from this place that used to happen with my mom all the time that I'd totally forgotten where, you know, we, we'd gotten into this pattern and this dynamic. And then in my family, like comfortable distance was just the way that you, you stayed sane. Cause it was like so insane. And that's where I wanted to go in my house was like, just go away. Like, we're not going to create together. Like this isn't going to work. You know, yeah. it's just easier. It's easier to just do our own thing. And you know what? It sort of is on one level. Yeah. Cause like when John was away, I didn't have to deal with anything about John. You know, <laughs> He was out of my space. But the other thing is like all the energies of John that contribute to me right. dynamically were also gone. And, yeah. and that's what I started to look at is like how much I've cut off, over the years, how much I've cut off receiving 
so many great things with what I've decided I have to eliminate because whatever. Well, right. And I don't know about you, but I mean, I can so dynamically be done with somebody or instantly done, you know, just, okay, done. Goodbye. And there's like not a thing. And I, and I get that there's, there's to not go into the emotional, um, story that people go into that's actually a capacity and there's a difference between choosing to remove myself maybe physically from someone's world and separating because you can actually choose to not engage with somebody or not be physically in their presence but not do the pull my energy out of their world and separate can still very much have my energy in the world and not be coming from a resistance just a choice and there's a total it might look the same on the outside to other people, but it's not the same energetically. Yeah. And I know for me, like I have this thing where it looks like I separate and I will kill you. <laughs> I go yeah. into some really like dark. Intensity. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, yeah. <laughs> and now you're telling me no comfortable distance. Well, and, and it's a choice. I can keep the comfortable distance if I want to. I know. And I get though, it was what you just said. What am I cutting off receiving when I choose it? Oh, well, I- and this was interesting because I didn't, you know, we talk about an access consciousness. How when you separate, you're actually separating from you. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, that's terrible. Yeah. You know, don't do that. And, yeah. and I didn't really see that until, again, this whole week, this whole last three weeks has been so revealing about just all this, this whole topic. And, you know, I, I, John and I had this dynamic and I was just, I was just being no feelings with him. I was just like, you know what, I'm, I'm done with whatever we're doing. You know, I'm not done necessarily with you, but I'm done with this. And, but the, the thing was about that, that I also didn't know how to get back to being me. Like when I'm being me, I'm this, you know, and I've got yes. sexual energy in my body and I'm loud and I'm vibrant and I laugh and yes. that was gone. And I didn't know how to get her back. And I really, I, I didn't know either that I'd gone into the story. Well, you know, women are emotional creatures, <laughs> you know? So when the, when the relationship's not working, everything dries up. I don't know what you want me to do. You know, it's not my fault. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that I was just like randomly shows up and you go, is that <laughs> shit still there? <laughs> you know? and we were talking and we were trying to sort out this thing so that we could get back to being us, right? Because this thing needed right. to be sorted before we could get back to being us. Yeah. Together. <laughs> that's all yeah. related yeah <laughs> and that's when I saw what I was doing I was like oh my god I'm like dynamically cutting me off so that you get punished for being something that offended me I mean it was this whole hot mess of of right. feelings and reaction and cut it but the thing I noticed most of all is that it cut I cut me off and mm-hmm. I cut me off in a reaction to punish this other person it's like you can't have me and I was like wait a minute then I don't get me either. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Yeah, thank you for saying that. That is that is so true. And that is what occurs when we do the comfortable distance. Yeah. We're cutting ourselves off. I'm like, I'm sorry, you don't get me. And that means I don't get me, but that's fine. Because then at least, I mean, and, and you it's, don't win. <laughs> at least you don't win. And this is a whole contextual reality, you know, of the win yeah. and the lose. And yeah. Um, I just, and, 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 and personally, I don't know my way out of this except to just keep becoming aware of when I'm doing it and then going, Oh my God, what other choices do I have? Yeah. <laughs> and exactly. Tracy says, Oh my God, are you ladies in my head? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah. And I love that question. I love what choice can I make that I'm not making that if I would make it would change all of this with total ease. It's just like simple. But when I'm not choosing or I keep choosing the same thing or I'm in limbo because I don't know what else to choose, it's literally asking the question, oh, what choice? Because we get stuck when we do these patterns that we've done forever, like you were just talking about, you know, at dinner last night and it goes back to when you were a kid or what's going on with John. There's these loops that we do. It's like the infinity loop that this is how this goes and we're stuck in this pattern and we call it autopilot and we call it programming and we call it all this kind of stuff, but it's da, 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 da. It's a trigger. I was triggered. Right? What, and so when we disrupt that, yeah, there is sort of this like, um, cool. well, what do I do? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or even to get that we have another choice is like ding, ding, ding. Oh, you mean I don't have to keep doing this? Oh, you mean, you mean this doesn't have to keep going? Yeah. 
And on the one hand, I've been so incredibly grateful for that because I haven't known how to change some of this stuff. And it's just been this way that I've reacted to things forever. And then on the other hand, I'm like, fuck. (laughs) I don't know what's on the other side of this. I don't know how to even be on the other side of this. I don't know what's beyond resisting and reacting to this and what's not. So, so wow. What? Yeah. And sometimes even as you start to get a glimpse of what's on the other side, there's so much uncomfortable that it is like, can we just, I know that sucked, but can we just go back? Uh, You know, one of the things I've been noticing, like even with my kids that I didn't really want to look at at all is the more I'm making the demand to not live from comfortable resistance and not do separation. Comfortable distance. (laughs) You said resistance. Comfortable (laughs) resistance. That one too. (laughs) Comfortable resistance and distance. I think they might go together. (laughs) yeah Uh uh-huh that one too (laughs) that's funny but I've always been aware of people's judgments but it's amped up a million times like really really loud and I went oh so so part of the comfort and the distance is to not be really really aware of how dynamic some some judgments of people that I didn't want to see that they were judging me yeah. I wanted to just, you know, I thought I just, I liked, I did everything's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. And I'm like, whoa, you think you, you've decided that about me? Which for me oh. would have given me the reason and the justification to separate from them. Exactly. Exactly. Then I get to do comfortable resistance because motherfucker, <laughs> why, really? You, that's what you, you know, that's fine. You go over there. I'm going to go over here. We'll just keep this like <laughs> I think we need to do a call comfortable resistance. I actually love resisting. It's one of my favorite things to do. I didn't even right, realize. You feel alive and strong and in charge and I'm going to gonna fight. And you're the wrong one. You're the asshole. So like. Stop. I'm totally justified. Fuck you. <laughs> my favorite way to be. Right? Yeah. And I'm like, you want me to give up what? <laughs> Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Yeah. Greater yeah. possibilities, wow. whatever. Whatever. This is fun. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. So <laughs> it's been inviting me to really look at like what's, if, the, and it is really fun for me. If I'm really honest. And yeah. Okay. So what's the fun that's beyond this? What's, what is beyond this? That's the, I've, I've literally had to just keep asking myself, like what, you know, this communion thing. Okay. I, I hear you. I hear what you're talking about here. Like, what what's that like what's the the joy of being alive that I'm not getting like what is all this well that but like as you're talking about the resistance thing like I get how ingrained it was in me that actually relationship and communication is let's be honest let's Let's get real here which meant let's be confrontational let's fight the hell out of each other because then we know we have a relationship where we're caring about each other we're being real we're being truthful. That's what it's built on. And it's like, oh God, but it really is. There's been this thing of that's, that's how, you know, you have a relationship with someone because you can go toe to toe, you can fight, you know, <laughs> tell each other how it is. <laughs> <laughs> there is something about that energy, like that intensity. Right? And you know what? I did look at this the other day. I'm like, I could keep doing this. I mean, John's right. willing to do it with me and we could keep like having these little yeah. Fuck you, fuck you, and then talk about it and have great sex. We can keep doing that. Right? I looked at that the well, other night. Like, that's just a choice. It is just a choice. And yeah. I'm like, is there something else that would be funner? <laughs> yeah. Where I well, get to be me and he can be him. And yes, because no- how much are we cutting off of ourselves? Yeah. Like you said before. The other thing that I got though is wow, I'm taking all of my capacity for creation and putting it towards something that's not actually creating. <sighs> And that's where I went, um, yeah, no, I, I would rather take that creative capacity and put it towards actual creation, not fighting and resisting against. And fixing a problem. And fixing a problem. Yeah. Because so if we weren't using all of that energy for all of that, what actually would we be creating and what would yeah. be possible? Yeah. Uh, I have to have a part two comfortable. <laughs> Oh, I like it. I like it. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. I adore you. Thank you. So well, thank I got you. so much out of this conversation. <laughs> That's why I like doing this. We're just like, Hey, let's chat. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> yes. All right. Well guys, we're going to go. Yes. Thanks for joining. 
And we'll be back next week. Same we'll time. See you next Sounds week. like comfortable resistance is the topic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye.